To get a good recommendation, you need to understand what it is from the professor's perspective. Your professor will be asked, how do they know you? How do they rate your academic potential? How well you worked with other students and any other special circumstances they are aware of. Notice that while all professors like a little appreciation for their work, your lavishing them with praise is not part of the recommendation that they write. In any case, the greatest compliment you can give a teacher is by showing you care about their class by putting in the work. To get the best recommendations, you need to plan well ahead of time. Even if your plans for the future are still open, it is to your benefit to keep open the possibilities of future recommendations by showing interest in the class, putting in the work, and letting the professor get to know you and your interests at office hours. You will also at this time want to check ahead for deadlines for the scholarships or university applications you intend to go for. For simple scholarship recommendations, you should send a message or ask in person about four weeks ahead of the deadline. University applications, because they are more thorough, take a longer time. You should ask for such recommendations no less than six weeks before the deadline. Make sure you understand the recommendation process for the particular application because for some of them the recommendation is due at the same time as the rest of the application. For others, the recommendation is only made available once the student part is completed. In your request for a recommendation, you may want to remind the professor who you were in their class. Even part-time professors may be teaching multiple classes and at multiple colleges. If you are asking for a recommendation in a semester after you had taken their class, this is extra important. Give the professor information as to 
what you are applying for and why you are applying for it. Depending on how well the professor already knows you, they may ask for a little bit of cheat sheet from you to personalize the recommendation. In such case, you should send them an updated resume regarding both your professional and academic career, as well as a draft of the personal statement you are already sending as part of your application. This is to avoid a generic recommendation that merely says the professor acknowledges that you were in their class and that they assign you a grade. As the deadline grows nearer, make sure to reread the steps of the application and remind your professor about their part as a recommender. If there are special instructions to the recommendation, such as mailing hard copy, official letterhead, you need to let your professor know at this time. Note that some applications require the student to have completed their part first before they generate a request to the recommender. In that case, you need to submit your application well ahead of time before sending a reminder to the professor. Once the recommendation is completed, you will usually get a notification as such. If not, please check the status. Once it is confirmed, it is polite to send a thank you message to the recommender. Because you may be using the same recommender in the future, it is a good idea to follow up and let them know how you have progressed or if your plans have changed. <laughs>